This next item, the finale of today, the title is called The Koiner of Katyawar, The Life of the Jain Revolutionary Ganji Swami. Performance will show Gurudev Ganji Swami's life and teachings and form a major and this is forming a major part of this exhibition. For those who've been around, you will know. Key moments from his life are captivatingly being portrayed in this unique musical performance by members of the London-based community who continue his legacy. That community is, of course, the Sri Digambar Jain Association of London. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for the performers. Thank you, Sandeep Ji, for the lovely introduction. As Sandeep Ji mentioned, just yesterday we celebrated Gurudev Kanji Swami's 134th birthday. But, but who was he? Why is he still so loved amongst his followers even after more than 40 years have passed since his passing? Before his arrival, all the Jain communities were focused on rituals like pilgrimage, penance, and puja as a route to salvation. While engaged in these same practices, he came to realize that the path to salvation is not in these bodily activities, but rather in an internal process of altering one's belief that I am doing these things. He taught that once we break the feeling of doership and ownership of things that are not our own, we will experience our pure soul and then be on a one-way train to moksha. He explained that even the auspicious ritualistic activities play no part in the path to salvation. Without having broken the wrong belief mithyatva and developing the right belief samyatva. Just like the North Star shows the path to a lost traveler in a dark night, Gurudev showed us the right path when we were lost in the darkness of mithyatva. Today, we bring before you the story of Gurudev Kanji Swami and how he revolutionized the Jain community by explaining the untapped teachings depicted in the Jain Agamas. We will take back you in time in the 1950s when Gurudev was still with us. So please set your phones on silent and enjoy this enthralling and thought-provoking musical Presenting the Kohinoor of Katiawad. Welcome, welcome everyone. The sky is overcast and we are experiencing that typical British weather. Oh God, why am I sounding like a weather reporter? Ignore my ramblings please and let me come to the point. I would like to introduce to you a small group of friends who are drinking coffee behind me. The sorry looking guy over there is Vivek, who is accompanied by Sam, who has been recently married. I'm sure this isn't the first time you've heard sorry looking and married used in the same sentence. <laughs> the fun loving and chatty girls over there are Nikki and Amy. And oh look, here comes their friend Priya. I think it'd be best if I stop talking and let you ca catch up on the latest gossip. Here you go. Hey, it's so nice to see you all after such a long time. Sam, I'm so sorry I couldn't make it to your wedding, but congratulations on the lucky guy who got married first. You think so? You are so lucky you are single. My wife is always nagging me to do the dishes or clean the house. My friend, 
It seems you have forgotten what it was like to be single. Let me remind you, it was not nice. Yes, you say your wife is always nagging you, but think of us. We have to nag ourselves to do the dishes and clean the house. Jokes apart, there are quite a few problems in my life. I have a huge mortgage and my company is not doing very well. Actually, I too am going through a very difficult phase. Recently, my mum has been diagnosed with a serious illness and although I'm looking after her, I'm always stressed about it. I'm so sorry, Nikki. Vivek, you're unusually quiet today. If my memory still serves me correctly, you could never stop talking. Yes, back then your mouth would always be moving. No, I think we all know your life is so perfect, you can't relate to any of our problems. Quite the opposite, actually. It's a 
go and tried meditation But I soon dozed off, that's not my solution I know what you need Go to the temple and worship the gods Fasting and good karma will please the Lord Go to the temple and worship the gods Fasting and good karma will please the Lord With good karma alone can we be free It's just an ally in my spiritual journey With good karma alone can we be free It's just an ally in my spiritual journey Problem. Who? Me? Yes, you. Come here. Why are you smiling? Are you making fun of me? I have just told you all my problems, yet you still smirk? I'm sorry. But I'm not making fun of you. It's just that there's a simple solution to your problem. Don't bother, friend. As you have seen, we have suggested every possible solution. But his problem is somewhat unique and unreal. I know, but there's a person who has all the answers to lead you to the correct path. Gurudev Kanji Swami in Songad is the one you need. He is wise and spiritual. Son good? I have never even heard of it. Or Gurudev Kanji Swami for that matter. Who is he? How will he help me? Son good is a small village in the state of Gujarat in the spiritual country India. Gurudev Kanji Swami was born in Katiawad, a region in Saurashtra, Gujarat. His life story is very similar to yours in that he was in constant search of eternal truth and happiness. Well, let me tell you all the story of his life and then you can decide for yourself whether he will be able to help you or not. Hey friends, come, let's see who this Swamiji is and if he will be able to help me. Yes, let's see. Village 
Was born baby Gunu on a lovely day. His playful eyes and smiling face made mom and dad so happy that day. Then came along an astrologer to read his palm and tell his fate. Mark my words, he proudly said, this baby will grow up to be great. He'll shine forever like a star, like all he knows. Years went by, baby Kanu grew, played with his friends and went to school. But to Jane's studies, his heart stayed true, so he learned Jane books and quit his school. One day with friends, he was flying kites, when a friend lost his to Kanu's might. His eyes welled up as he lost the fight And Kanu was sad at the poor boy's plight He went to the friend and held him tight Said, cheer up friend, you can have my kite I quit this game that makes friends cry this shows how Kanu was caring and kind He'll shine forever like a star Like all he knows of God give up He'll shine forever like a star Like all he knows of God give up As he grew older, he worked in a shop. As he grew older, he worked in a shop. When he met with a dealer to buy the stock, the shop boy loaded an extra box. Said, Kanu shook his head, heart filled with pain Never cheat, no matter what you stand to gain The boy realized, head held in shame Said, grateful forever, I will remain He'll shine forever like a star Like all he knows When the time arrived to renounce the world and don the white, he became a monk. What a joyous sight as he ascended on his elephant ride. He'll shine forever like a star, like all he knows. Climbed a 
tear made his heart all sink. His robe was ripped, which made him think, Can clothes be a hurdle in the path I see? Kept his feelings hidden inside and preached Jainism far and wide. A throng of followers joined his stride. Ganji Swami emerged, he's everyone's pride. He'll shine forever like a star, like all he knows. He knew in his heart something was amiss as he tried to seek true joy and bliss. Until his devotee gifted him three summers of He read enthralled while under the stars His eyes lit up with the knowledge vast True happiness was now not so far He'll shine forever like a star Like all he knows of God He'll shine forever So upset, we will break your legs and you will regret. We will make you starve, that's what they said. But Kanji Swami was never scared. He went ahead and preached to all true path to gain happiness overall. His upper soon started to fall with love and kindness he transformed all he'll shine forever like a star like all he knows of God give up he'll shine forever like a star like all he knows of God give up all he knows In Songad, Swamiji chose to reside. People come to see him from far and wide. Your journey to truth will be a joyous ride. I am sure he will help you turn the tide. Wow, that is such an inspirational story. Yes, Looks like he has preached and spread Jainism and the knowledge he gained through Samesa all over India. Not only India, but throughout the world, as if he destroyed the darkness of ignorance 
and spread the light of true knowledge and made the whole of Katiawar proud. Yes, indeed, Guhinor of Gatiawad. Vivek, I think this could be the answer to all your problems, and we should definitely meet him. Yes, I finally see a glimmer of light at the end of the tunnel. Thanks a lot for introducing me to him. Happy to help. Hope you find peace and happiness in your life. And so, Vivek and his friends decide to go to Songa to meet Kanji Swami. While they pack their bags, let's meet the charming community of this little village.
Hey, Namaste. We have come to see Kanji Swami. Namaste and Jai Jinendra. Yes, come with me. I will take you to the Sonagad Jain Temple where you will find Saheb. Finally, our friends from the UK have arrived in Songa Jain Temple and are awestruck by the premises itself. The Jain Temple looks so peaceful and mesmerizing. Gurudev's lecture is about to start in a few minutes and let's see if it can intrigue Vivek. There he is. Looks like he has just finished his daily ritual of puja and is heading off for the sermon. Let's follow him to the study hall. Oh dear, be careful. There's numerous living beings in this grass as well. Don't step on it and cause pain to them. You might think they are insignificant, but they are the future gods. Just because they cannot express their feelings in their current state does not mean they can't feel it always watch your step and respect all life samjhano ka sure sahib will be careful of that from now onwards wow what kindness he is so considerate about everything and everyone yes so true did you also notice He does not speak while walking. Yes, that's so he can watch his step whilst walking. Wow, so he is someone who actually practices what he preaches. Namo loye sava arihantanam, namo loye sava siddhanam, namo loye sava ahiryanam. नमो लोये सव उजायणम नमो लोये सव साहुणम दिस इज द होली बुक ऑफ समय सार रिटन बाय आचार्य कुंदकुंद ओवर टू थाउजंड इयर्स अगो द सोल इज इन अ स्टेट ऑफ सफरिंग ड्यू टू इट्स ओन डिल्यूजन इन रिलेशन टू इट्स आइडेंटिटी एंड एज अ रिजल्ट द सोल फेसिस एन एंडलेस साइकल ऑफ बर्थ डेथ एंड रीबर्थ इफ द सोल अचीव correct understanding in relation to its identity and its surroundings then it is possible for the soul to break this cycle and achieve a state of eternal liberation moksha samjhano ka hai all souls are equal there is no difference whatsoever between the soul of lord mahavir and a worldly soul the only difference is that the worldly soul has not made any effort to become liberated whereas lord mahavir has become a liberated soul through his own effort badha bhagwan che ane badha bhagwan thao ah 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 ah
But this poor man does not know that and believes that this human life form is him, this body is him and due to this ignorance says that, O oh God, I am unhappy, help me out, O oh God, I have got cancer, please save me. But Acharya Kundkund is saying that cancer can only affect the body, it can never ever affect your soul and you are not defined by this body, but you are a pure eternal soul. <laughs> if you are able to distinguish between what is yours and what is not with the help of Jain Agamas, there is no force in the universe which can stop you from attaining moksha. Samjanu kai. I understand what you are saying, but I find it difficult to achieve some darshan or correct faith. Read the scriptures and put into practice what the scriptures tell you. Make time in your busy life to try and understand your soul. Experience of the soul will come to those who are patient, dedicated and focused on their goal. Praman Vachan Gurudev Javani ke gyan se sujhe loka lok सौवानी मस्तक नमो सदा देत हो धोक बोलिए जिनवानी मात नो जय हो वाओ दैट वाज सो इनसाइटफुल यस ही एक्सप्लेन्ड इट इन सच अ सिंपल एंड इजी वे In fact, we have never ever heard these things in all our life. This is a completely new perspective that Jainism has put forward. I have heard numerous times about becoming a devotee, but this is the first time someone has addressed me as Bhagwan or God. Yes. You know what? I think I might get the answers to my questions here. I am so hopeful. Then what are we waiting for? Let's see what Swami ji says to help you. That is why we're here after all. Of course. Chaitan Indra Sahib, that provision was so amazing. We have come all the way from the UK as I have something I want to ask you about. Jai Jin Indra and welcome to Sonagarh. What is it that you want to ask me? I have got enough wealth. No issues with my health. A lovely family. But I'm missing something, speaking frankly. I have tried everything. I went to temples, worshiped gods, did meditation, but all in vain. I want to know if there's anything I can do. Anything to get happiness and stop this cycle of suffering. Mm. All I can do is show you the path. It is your choice whether or not to take it. Yes, please. I will definitely take it. A common mistake that the worldly souls make is that they equate their good passions, non-violence, donation, building temples, going to pilgrimages, practicing vows and penance to be the path of liberation. It is natural for these passions to arise for the true seeker but it is also important to understand that it is not the true path to liberation these good passions do not break the delusional state of the worldly soul and the soul's state of misery is not ended by this it is only when the soul meditates on its true passionless and pure state that it achieves happiness ah ha 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 so are you saying that we should stop going to the temples and worshiping the gods because i saw you do all of these activities yourself no definitely not you continue doing all your activities but only need to change your belief 
you just need to make sure that you know that this activities will not help become truly liberated only focusing on your pure soul will how do we get knowledge of our true self just accept yourself learn to differentiate between what is yours and what is not yours for instance this friends family your car your money are related to your body not your soul when you die the body along with all its relations stays behind and your soul is the one who departs the soul is you and knowing this and accepting it will bring peace to you keep this book samay sar it will guide you forever thank you sahib this has been truly eye opening thank you so much for your enlightenment we will take your leave now jay jinendra jay jinendra friends coming to songgad and meeting gurudev kanji swami has been the best decision of my life yes just looking at his calm persona brings so much peace to you yes that's so true i have received all the answers to my questions here what about you much i hope you enjoyed this lovely performance by our kids before we leave can i please ask all the performers to come on stage all the performers please come on stage Kaush- kaushik bhai who has been instrumental in recording of the songs and in providing us with help and guidance throughout please can you as well come on stage our singers soham srishti dhruvi please come on stage I would also like to thank Anupreet Khandekar and Rupi Khandekar for their melodious composition of the music for these songs. Finally, I would like to request our entire team of volunteers and Nirav to come on stage. This production would not have been possible without the support of all our volunteers, Kapil ji, everyone. Please come on stage. A big thank you and big cheers to the entire team of sdj thank you everyone for your love and affection i hope you enjoyed this inspiring story of gurudev kanji swami i'm sure that his teachings will influence your life in a positive way and change it for better thank you and jay jinendra but before we go we should say a massive massive thank you to charu uh, ruchi sorry 
who has done such a fantastic job of writing all these songs and directing the whole play, writing everything. I am just blown away by what she's achieved. So thank yeah. you so much. Can I say, what we have is pure happiness. It stays with us forever happiness. Can we let's sing it all together? What we have is pure happiness that stays with us forever happiness. What we have is pure happiness that stays with us forever happiness that stays with us forever happiness. That stays with us forever happiness. This was mind blowing. They need a standing ovation. Come on, guys. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This, this show and the previous shows, these are worthy of being on the West End. Would you agree? Yes. Come on. Come on. After this performance, we have had so many communities, even our guests from the USA, they want this performance to go there, you know. They are inviting everybody here, and even the Songhat Pratishta, you know, you have to go there, you know. Yeah, yeah. They are brilliant. They are brilliant, you know. So, um, please sit down. Please sit down. I'll just take about two minutes of your time. Yeah? Uh, please, it's fine. So you can see a small community, small temple community, the Gumber Jain Temple, but what a rich talent. This is a huge, huge, huge talent here in London. And we have the Parshala kids, like I said, the parents, the teachers. And when you put all of this together, this is what you get, an explosive mix of things, you know, real, real explosion, you know. So first of all, uh, we have Professor Peter Flugel here. Please, Peter, if you can stand up. He's the head of Jaina Studies. And without whom... <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they, so us are the organizers of this Pure Soul exhibition. And Peter is a man behind it. Obviously, there's lots of teams, but without him, we couldn't have done this. You know. um, second thing for this show and the Inside Out program for the last three days... We have tried to involve every community. We have volunteers from every community, from food to shows. And the men behind this, I mean, there's a whole team, but the person behind this is Nero Gutka. And he's been working day and night. <laughs> Nero, can you say a few words on... Uh, I know, I know. I know. Nero has got tears in his eyes, you know, because this is the fruit of working so hard. This is what you get. Nero, please, you know. Huh? Uh, okay, that's fine. But he has really involved everybody, and this show goes on till the 24th of June. So the only way you can do justice is inform your friends, your family. They don't have to be Jain. Anybody who wants to free the soul is a Jain. Anybody. So tell them to come and visit the exhibition. Uh, we've got captions. They can they can uh, learn learn a lot, you know. And then uh, visit Songhat after that, you know. So we can uh, sort of. Mm, explain more to you, you know. <laughs> Jason and everyone, it's um, amazing to see such a packed crowd today and um, enjoying this wonderful performance that we've had. I mean, we've had so many great things today, but for me personally, because this is my Monday, this um, what we've achieved today in terms of the performance that have been put on have been just mind blowing. And um, I need, I really need to thank again this. I mean, this team has been in the background, you know, working um, tirelessly in terms of bringing all the kids together, bringing all the participants together to do the rehearsals. It's it's not easy. I, I tell you that. I know the things that we've been doing as well in the background to um, put this on is also not difficult, not, not easy, but um, amazing. Thank you very much. An another person I would like to thank 
She is brilliant, is Ruchi Desai. She has written the scripts of all our shows, and she really, she is un unbelievable. You know, to have this performance, we thought, oh, it's going to be a, a Gujarati play. No, this is Western standard, Western for everybody to understand the young and the old. You know, Ruchi, please say a few words. You know. Thank you, everyone. I don't think I would have achieved this uh, without the help and support of the full team. Preeti, Mona, Charu, Charmi, everyone, the volunteers, for the techies, the people who set up the stage, everything, my husband, my family, my mother-in-law, and probably everyone's family and their spouses. So th a big thank you to everyone. Okay. Last, only last, one more person I need to call to the stage. That's our main sponsor, this whole thing, the germ of an idea of holding a Jain exhibition started two years ago. And our world organization, Skiritbhai, please, Skiritbhai Gosalia from US, he is the one who has instigated, uh, he has been the main sponsor, he has been one who has been pushing us. Did I say a few words? This is two years of fruition. What do you think? You know, he's here from America. Jai Janendra, everybody. Can I hear that? Jai Janendra. Oh, that's a crowd. My God, you guys are going to beat USA for sure. Thank you very much for everything that has been uh, that I'm witnessing for last two weeks, and uh, my my heartfelt congratulations to Soas and especially to Peter putting this great, great show on the earth right now, this for the, for the, for the pure soul and everything. I want everybody, um, I, I know everybody has visited, please go and visit again next weekend because you will see something different than what you are seeing today. And uh, Peter is working nonstop to take care of this problem and uh, this, this, uh, this spreading the pure soul uh, idea and everything. And uh, we at the North America are extremely indebted to uh, Digambar Jain Association Temple at the, the, uh, at the uh, London. And uh, Peter and uh, your team and everybody, thank you. Thank you very much. We really heartfelt congratulations to you for putting such a great show. Thank you very much. So finally, Shows like this, the exhibitions, you know, they wouldn't be here without all your support. So one clap for all of you, you know, please. <laughs> okay. The last, I know you like the shows and you like the exhibition, but Gurudev Kanji Swami, he was the inspiration. And the message, it's not what you've seen, the show was very nice, but you need to remember that message. He was first person to say, you are God. He didn't say follow me. He didn't say follow, you know, come to the temple. You know, he said, yes, everything is fine. But his message was, you know, and that is the message I want you to take home. Jai Jinendra, everyone.